to immortalize. It was a hall packed full with friends and political associates of the late human rights activist Yinka Odumaki, an atmosphere reminiscent of one where the late activist would have been found in his lifetime speaking truth to power. And in the last one year, widow of the late activist has found time not just to mourn, but also to document her husband's lifetime of struggle for a better Nigeria. Her reflections have culminated in today's launch of the book titled Comrade and the Oluyinka Odumaki Foundation, OOF. Chairman of the occasion, Pa Ayo Adebanjo, sets the tone for the event by reiterating his call for constitutional amendment. You have to continue the fight. We have to back in left it. As for me, you're gone. What am I waiting for? It's on you. The, the country lies on. And don't let anybody deceive you. Until you revive this country to a federal system, where everybody is happy under this constitution, you will never get peace. Goodwill messages flowed freely from dignitaries, including Yinka Odumaki's political associate of many years, Pastor Tunde Bakari. I will call Yinka at 1, 2 a.m. and say, Yinka, there's a challenge. So I'll see you in 30 minutes. He had no personal security. He would drive himself. He was fearless. And he had done his bit. It's not how long, it's how well. He had an incredible energy that was as prodigious as his network of friends. He was everywhere at every time, brimming with ideas on how to make Nigeria better. Now, so tireless was Yinka, even on the day he passed away. In the ambulance, on the way to the hospital, with his life dangling on the line, he asked for his computer. He still had an article. He had to get off to the press. The afternoon of tribute to Odumaki climaxed when the guest lecturer, Mr. Femi Falano, poked the current administration with contradictions between its promises on restructuring in 2014 and what it has delivered. Of course, you are aware of the VAT over VAT. The case that River State won, the federal government went to appeal to the Court of Appeal and now in the Supreme Court. The federal government discovered it was not going to win the case. So they quickly rushed to the National Assembly. Please, can you put that? Can you take it to the exclusive legislative list? Of course, the federal government lost. So your oppressors are benefiting from lack of restructuring. We never say, please, come and take those powers in Abuja. So what do you therefore do? Political and legal. Liga, I think we have reached a dead end. Political now. I'm suggesting to state government. Please, stay control of your affairs and let the federal government go to court. In her remarks, the widow, Jo Okeo Dumaki, promised to carry on with her late husband's ideals. His legacies, I will keep his. I will continue by the grace of God to remain strong and... I promise that I will never let you down. Even in his last days, the late activist Yinka Odumaki was said to be sending articles for publishing and holding virtual meetings from his sick bed. A profound lesson to all that the life of a man is measured not in duration, but in impact on society. Bukola Samuel Wemimo for Channels Television News.